Need some help from you now. You know we got a mystery to solve. He's ready for you. Skip it to your head. Don't hold back. <laughs> 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 what is going on guys? My name is Aura and welcome to the mystery of Shagworthy's Legacy, a Scooby-Doo visual novel created by the same people who made a Ben X slave. This is going to be fun. This lightning is scaring me. I'm scared of lightning. <laughs> Whatever. New game. <laughs> Look at Fred. <laughs> it looks like a real a, a real Chad. Th their art style always like it's it's very unique their art style. Like you can tell what it is, but you can tell how different it is at the same time. It's enough to be a parody. Yeah. You're right. This is the right way, Shaggy. These back roads all look the same at night. I can just do my Morty voice for Shaggy. <laughs> he like I've never been anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do Shaggy? Like Scoob. Uh, hey, like I, yeah, I can't do Shaggy. I've never tried to do Shaggy. Hey, like I've never been anywhere near here. That is not Scooby. Shaggy. That is Scooby. <laughs> That's not Scooby. That yes, it is. Scooby's what? a little more. Okay, you're Scooby now. That was that was a great impression. Thank uh, you. Hey, <laughs> like I've never been anywhere near here in my life, Fred. Scoob and I just happened to find the old letter while looking for leftover crumbs in the cookie jar. Rats and roadmap came with it. Sushi, you want to do want to be <laughs> Daphne? <laughs> sure, I'll be stuck with the chicks again. You can be Fred. I'll t <laughs> we'll, we'll, you can take Fred. I'll take Shaggy. He takes Scooby. Look at Fred's face. <laughs> it's just like, oh. <laughs> it's like, oh god. Oh fuck. I gotta try and find a good voice for this. Stuck up bitch. <laughs> You guys found the letter in a cookie jar? Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> what risks where we reap rim? <laughs> what? Cookies never make it past the package in our house, Daphne. So, like, we thought we might as well use the jar for something. <laughs> Okay, I could be Velma. <laughs> let me fi let me find my inner Velma voice. You're good. <laughs> I don't have. Okay. I don't. My Velma voice would be very similar to my Shaggy voice. I can't. <laughs> uh, I, I just can't believe. You. <laughs> I just can't believe you wouldn't read something so important before stashing it, Shaggy. You fucking sound like Rico Star. <laughs> I don't know about this. <laughs> no, I sound like a nerd. Wait, oh my god, my nose won't stop running. <coughs> Apparently you've never watched Scooby-Doo. What? I know what Velma sounds like, but I can't sound like Velma, so I'm doing something Squeeze else. Squeeze your balls, damn it. I'm trying so hard to think of how to do her voice. <laughs> Fuck it, it's just my normal voice. I just <laughs> I just can't believe you wouldn't read something so important before stashing it, Shaggy. Here we go again, you think. Velma is real smart and nice to you most of the time, but she can get really <laughs> naggy sometimes. Then again, you know you can't blame her for thinking you aren't responsible. You are Shaggy Rogers, one of the five members of the hippest band of crime-solving teenagers the world has ever seen, Mystery Inc. You have been with them for years, and you are all best friends. Still, even knowing you are not the most reliable of the bunch, it really hurts when one of them points it out. Do you guys ever open your mail at all? Hey, like, if it's not a pizza coupon, it's probably bad news. Right, Scoob? Yeah. <laughs> You're too good at it. <laughs> <laughs> you two are so immature. Well, it was definitely good news this time. I can't believe you inherited a hotel, Shaggy. Scooby and you beam with pride, even though it isn't technically your achievement. Rawry! <laughs> Uh, so I'm doing Fred, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, gang. What kind of luxury hotel is here in the middle of nowhere? I love hotel. <laughs> it is kind of swampy. Maybe it's, a. Uh, Celebrity retreat, like a spa. You know what's funny? You pick the two characters that'll probably talk to each other the most. Anyway, yes. <laughs> so yes. you're going to be talking to yourself a lot. Just be prepared for that. Now you know what it's like to be me, because I'm always talking to myself. It's very sad, actually. I do that, too. So. Oh, I love a beauty mud bath. Wait, you talk to yourself? I talk to myself <laughs> for videos. What are you talking about? <laughs> We don't want to talk. Uh, about I just that. talk to myself constantly. I have inner monologues, but the, that's. Do you ever talk back? I have outer monologues to myself. Oh fuck! I have inner monologues due to Yu-Gi-Oh, probably. <laughs> 
I summon Looking at Daphne, that doesn't seem necessary at all. She is the most beautiful, coolest girl you know or ever have seen. I don't know. By this day's standards, more people would probably say Velma is hotter. Yes. They so, will. she can be a bit frivolous sometimes, but she's all right. She has a huge heart, and you have an empty stomach. <laughs> Just that's... Right now, <laughs> I could eat mud. Daphne, I'm starving. Wait, is he saying this aloud? So it's, I it's think there's another inner monologue. But it's... But it's a... Okay. Ritu. Yeah, that was an outer mo Why does it not have the character names? This is confusing. The forest seems to get thicker and thicker, but finally you get to a wooden bridge. It seems to be the only way forward. Uh, this doesn't exactly look structurally sound. Fred looks I'll like he's- I worry too much. <laughs> I'll just flare it across. Oh, God, shit. he looks ready. Tokyo Drift style. Deja vu. I just been in this place before. He looks like- he looks like he smokes crack. <laughs> <laughs> I need more. He looks like the Joker right now. That's what Fred looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, Ro -ro what's his name. Can't remember. Yeah, Pee Wee Herman with his uh, drug alert. Oh. This is crack. <laughs> Your super groovy van. The mystery machine revs up to the limit. Bits of wood flying all over the place as you hit the bridge. Looking through your window, you can see the banisher coil like a snake snap and abandon the rest of the bridge to its fate. We aren't going to make it. With a loud crack, the mystery machine somehow makes it to the other side. Jinkies, that didn't sound good. I don't think that bridge can stand another pass. Will we be able to go back? That won't matter. If we can't move, I think we busted something down there. Shit, the direction is barely responding. God damn it. God damn it, Bobby. Ooh. Hey, Fred, shouldn't you, like, look at the road while driving, man? Not now, Shag. I need to. <laughs> groovy, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, groovy, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Break. I'm just saying. Go ahead. Roll, roll. I'm just saying my voice is broken, so it's hard to do voices right now. <laughs> well, they're dead. And uh, wait till next uh, part two, guys. Freddy. It's only been 10 minutes. What do you mean? <laughs> most, of my most of my videos are like 30 minutes to an hour now. Freddy. Are you guys okay? Shaggy? Like what? Whoa, man, we almost died. Yeah, is everyone all right? I'm gonna go with the last one. Hey, Scoob, old pal. You are sat on the ground, feeling Scooby-Doo's tongue as he licks your face. You try to shove him away without much luck. Like, what happened? We're here. <coughs> we are here. I like this. This is really nice. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I like how you guys were like, uh-oh, I'm scared for the Scooby-Doo one. If it's made by the Ben X, like... like have you? No, I said it was, I'm all for it. I didn't say Sushi, it. you need to watch Ben X Slave. You need to watch that series of mine. Anyway, a towering gothic structure stands before you and the rest of the gang. It looks imposing. It looks t -t -t terrifying. Well, the outside is a bit rough. Maybe the rest is better. I wonder how old it is. Let's just go inside, gang. <laughs> Like, don't go far from me, Scoob. Like, I, I, I don't know how scared you can get. <laughs> Shag, stop being a wimp and get a move on, will you? Just here, here's my prediction for what's gonna happen in this visual novel. Shaggy is gonna get like a major confidence boost and just seduce every female he comes across. <laughs> so uh, that's just my prediction, because that's normally how these games go. Well, all I hope <coughs> is Scooby Doo does not get a sex scene. That's Fred is somehow Fred is somehow gonna be unclothed and chained up in a dungeon somewhere with bdsm around him that's my bet <laughs> let's go sweetie it'll be okay accepting daphne's soft but strong gripping hand you stand up she doesn't seem to have to make much of an effort all those times running while carrying you and scoob in her arms have made her strong as you follow oh, your yeah. friends and approach the nightmarish hotel a shiver runs down your spine you look back to the forest dark and menacing there is no turning back that way <coughs> Suddenly, you bump into a brick wall. Looking up doesn't help. Whoa, what the fuck? It's Bob, guys. <laughs> it's Bob. It's just Bob. Oh. Um, I think you have a... Few, I think you might have several uh, terminal illnesses, uh, a couple broken joints, uh, and uh, you definitely need to buy a new suit. I didn't know the Hunchback <laughs> of Notre Dame was in this game. It's a connected universe. <laughs> no, this is his brother, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the brick wall has a face. Yikes! <laughs> 
Can we all just like voice this character simultaneously? <laughs> we'll all voice him every single word. Ooh, the we, got a, we got a bad bitch here. You know, Kuro, you haven't voiced a female yet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I was hoping I didn't come to this. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, fuck. Who I can't you? believe you've Tell done this. Tell me this instant. I just realized there's a scared thing at the top left. A woman emerges from the mist behind the huge man. She is strikingly beautiful. Her skin pale as ivory against her black dress, which fades in with the darkness around her. She does look pretty angry, though. Well, hello there, ma'am. We're the Mystery Inc. Expert monster hunters. Fraud and deceit debunkers. Crime solvers. Runger eaters. Far out dudes, freelance police, meddling kids. We all know which one, like, there is no other option. Like meddling kids. So they keep telling us. I rent see it. And yeah, well said, Scoob. Some food sure would be nice after the accident scare. <laughs> <laughs> the, d d didn't I say please? I meant to, I meant to say please. What are you doing here? Who sent you? Well, miss. It seems our friend here inherited the hotel, Shaggy Rogers. At this, Velma hands the letter to the raven-haired woman, whose hard eyes fix on you, and it alternatively as time drags on, okay? The silence yeah. is uncomfortable. The bellboys stare more so. So, like, can we eat now? Mm. If what the letter says is true, very well, you may come inside. So wait, I inherited it and no one told the staff? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> wow, we're talking. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but no dogs are allowed inside the hotel. Wrong? Who's wrong? Couldn't you make an exception? Scooby-Doo is one of us, miss. Demona. Miss Demona. Her thin, pale hand extends towards you, unsure about what to do. You shake it. For a second, she looks like she expected something else, but she recovers her smile quickly. Yes! Oh, yes. yes. That was awful. I'm afraid I can't. We have many guests. Some of them allergic to animals. He'll have to remain outside. What? And Miss Ritter. <laughs> All right. So she it's you. Oh, that's me. I thought that was Demona. <laughs> uh, oh, it's okay, Scooby. We'll bring as much food to the mystery machine as we can carry. Yeah, like, don't worry, Scoob. You know I have big pockets. <laughs> Shall we? My, vo my shaggy voice is becoming too Morty. <laughs> the Mona interlaces her arm on yours and leads you and your friends to the sinister-looking hotel. It's not that sinister looking. It kind, it kind, yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like the hotel from Fallout 4, kind of. Mm. Actually, a little bit, yeah. Just slightly, you know. Duncan, dear, please tell Mr. Cook we will need four meals for four. I mean, five guests tonight. You skipped a few words there, but I'm okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> you better make that six or seven just to be on the safe side, Miss Demona. Shaggy and Scoob sure can eat. Demona nods at the bulky bellboy who strides into the shadows, presumably towards the kitchen. Well, if you are who you say you are, that's certainly something you and Harry have in common. Who the fuck is Harry? I don't know where Harry... Okay. Harry Rogers' nephew, I have to say, there is a resemblance up close. Well, we'll find out who he is. <laughs> did did you and him get along well? One moment, I need to look up. Is this like a, a canon character? Harry Rogers. One moment. <laughs> uh, Harry Rogers is a basketball player. No, well... The, the, the... <laughs> A big uh, trend in Scooby-Doo is that Shaggy has a lot of uh, aunts and uncles that he doesn't know about, so... There's a guy called Harry Nas. Harry Nose. Hey, that's from the Phantasaur guy, I think. Uh, yeah. No, it's he, What's New Scooby-Doo. He's in What's New Scooby-Doo Season 1. All right, good to know. Did you already read this? I don't remember. Read it yes. again. Did you and him get along well? W well, like, I'm not too sure. He wasn't around much. He used to travel a lot during science experiments and stuff. And, w like, when he visited, he would never stay the night. Besides, my mom always told us, like, not to bother... <laughs> <laughs> Add one to the counter. <laughs> <laughs> they won't get that joke. <laughs> Don't use my own words against me. B besides, my mom always told us, like, not, the, not to bother him. Your uncle was a scientist? How can 
come you never told us about him? I was like really young when I last saw him. Seven, eight maybe. It was a real surprise when I read he had given me the hotel and that he had d d d died. Yes, that is a surprise. He never told me about you or his old family. He was probably like, fuck all the rest of my families. I don't know my nephew much, but he's probably better <laughs> than any of my brother or sisters, the damn c <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, that's just my, f that's my favorite curse word, cunts. I don't know why. It's such like a British sounding curse word. It's my least favorite curse word. So. You got a problem with cunts, you cunt? <laughs> yes. <laughs> look, 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 can we not make this about outing me or like exposing me to anything? Were you and him cl- Arg, ouch. What is this I hear about six new guests? Two of them with double portions. There's not nearly enough stew for. Mystery Inc. This is Mr. Cook. He's been with us for a long time. I, I like his tattoo. Hey, you got that right. A long time. A long, long time. Another uncomfortable silence settles in. Well, you better get it right to it, dear. Our guests are famished. Right. It'll take no time <laughs> at all. But I will need more fish if you want me to do a good broth. Then you should. <laughs> I'll have your fish, Mr. Cook. I'll put another order in as soon as possible. The cook looks for a second like he's about to complain some more, but eventually he just scratches the patch where his nose ought to be and lets it- <laughs> I just now realize that- and lets, his, <laughs> and lets his shoulders slump in defeat. <laughs> He kind of, you know what he looks like? One moment, I'm just now realizing this game is made by the same people who made Ben X Slave, so that makes too much sense. <laughs> Do you know the, uh, what is his name from Ben 10? Oh, Dr. Animo. Yeah, Dr. Animo, that's what he looks like. He looks like Dr. Animo. Just a buffer version. I mean, have you he seen almost... his gorilla body in Ben 10? Well, that's a gorilla body, but I'm saying it. Dr. Animo actually decided to get Jack and not hook his brain up to a fucking gorilla. This is what it would look like. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, okay then. With a last look to the gang with his good eye, <laughs> the strange noseless man waddles off. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Miss Demona turns and smiles at you. So, Mr. <laughs> Rogers, you have no notion as to why Harry would give you ownership of the hotel either? L like none. I mean, you probably knew him better than I did. Like, 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 how was he? Oh, your uncle was had a brilliant mind. Not everyone understood why he did what he did, but... Isn't that the mark of a true genius? Is it really? I think she killed my, uh, I think she killed my uncle. I think she fucked him to death. DEATH! <laughs> by Snoo Snoo! Yeah! yeah! She sucked out snoo all snoo. of his- DEATH BY SNOO SNOO! Hey man, if you have to go one way, go the way you came in. Anyway! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes it is. Oh sorry, I was drinking water. Uh, I'm so glad you understand. An open mind is important. Mm. <clears throat> but forgive me if I have to leave a proper conversation for tomorrow. I really must retire for the night. Please enjoy the meal. I'll make sure Duncan prepares your rooms in the meantime. Thank you so much for your hospitality, miss. Before you go, is there someone around who could take a look at our van? I think it's even past my skills. You turned the mystery machine into a fucking helicopter. How is that <laughs> above your skills to fix like a broken tire? Mm. You've legit made it so the mystery machine, a giant box of metal, can fucking fly. <laughs> Whatever. That is most unfortunate. I'll see to it that someone comes from town to fix it tomorrow. Thanks, Miss Demona. Like, yeah, you sure are amazing. Or I don't mean like... <laughs> Body. Like not saying that it isn't nice. You are delightful. Her cold eyes warm up considerably, and her smile is like perfect. Sleep well, Mr. Rogers. As I'll she fuck walks you tonight as well. <laughs> she can suck the life out of me. As she walks towards her personal chambers, hips swaying, dress dragging after her, you can't help but stare. She has to be the most elegant woman you've ever seen. <laughs> Real smooth, Casanova. Not that I blame you. That's some hot ass right there. <laughs> hey! Hey! I call him like I see him. I... You get it, right, Bill? Me? But what are, exactly are you in plot? <laughs> Just a joke, gang. Come on, let's go eat. I should take some food to Scooby-Doo. Yes, I'm starving. Scooby-Doo. Well, Scooby has to be starving back in the van. I better get him something to eat. Scooby's dead. No, I guess. <laughs> He's starved to death. <laughs> Do what you want. We'll stay here and take a look at the rooms. 
Right, Dust? Can I just say, like, I'm imagining that, like, Shaggy and Scooby have the, uh... The metabolism? Metabolism, like the Flash, where he has to eat so much food or else he actually will die. <laughs> that is a joke in uh, a current Scooby-Doo episode. Is that, like, an actual joke? Uh, it's either a joke or, like, you know, kind of a thing that's in a current Scooby-Doo thing. Uh, I mean, Warner Bros. does his own, like, DC, don't they? Yeah, uh, it's in Scooby-Doo, like guess who? The Flash actually shows up and is, like, best friends with Scooby and Shaggy. He's like, finally, someone who eats as much as I do and isn't fat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Because, like, I'm pretty sure if I ate as much food as Shaggy, Scooby, or The Flash, I'd be dead. Yeah. Oh, too easily, like, two or three times over. Like, i die from, like, my, like, stomach collapsing of how much weight. <laughs> If it didn't implode beforehand. Your legs would break in half. <laughs> Fred roughly grabs Daphne by her oh, waist. Fuck. Fred! Not here! No need to be coy, Daphne. They probably hurt us in the van at night anyways. Right. Uh, you wonder what they mean. With all you eat every day, you're a real fast sleeper. Still, you are used to not getting what the rest mean sometimes, so you don't give it too much thought. <laughs> he hasn't had the talk with the bird of bees at all. Guys, don't go too far, okay? Or you can always join us, though. Like, I like Fred. This Fred, I want to punch. <laughs> like, this is like a Johnny Bravo version of Fred. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was a thing, too. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> this takes place in the Scooby-Doo, Butch Hartman, Seth MacFarlane universe. <laughs> Fred winks at her. Bite me, Fred. I think I would, if you got a bit closer. Ugh, no thanks. Let's go, Shaggy. Velma grabs you by the arm and drags you outside. Raggy! Hey, Scoob, we brought you food. Where? Is something really wrong in this roar? It's Raggy. Scooby-Doo starts wolfing down the food immediately, but keeps talking with his mouth full regardless. Scoob, it is hard to understand what you are saying most of the time. So wait until you have finished eating, okay? At this, Scooby opens his mouth as wide as he can and just shoves all the food you brought inside. Nope. Good, now what do you mean? There's something in the forest? I heard it's Rumble Rowling. Like howling, look like w wolves. Oh, uh, ro 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 bigger. B b bigger? Scoob nods like crazy and nervously looks around. Road, <coughs> leave me alone, Raggy, please. Oh, you are always like this, you guys. You'll be fine, Scoob. Animals won't bother you if you just lock all the doors and try to sleep, okay? Since you can't go in, let's have a big breakfast outside tomorrow. You like picnics, right, Scoob? Like, I don't know, Velm. Can't we, like, like, sneak him inside? It really does seem sc 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 scary here. Uh, if I give you each a Scooby snack, you promise to be brave? You and Scoob look at each other. You both nod enthusiastically at Velma. Okay then, here you go. In a practiced move, <laughs> Velma tosses you both a couple of snacks, which you catch with your mouths in midair. Uh, like Scooby Snacks just hit the spot. Velma and you say goodnight to Scoob, looking much calmer now. Then, without a look back, you head into the hotel. Go on ahead, Shaggy. I have to use the toilet. Like, okay. When you are sure she's gone, you produce a leftover sandwich from your t-shirt sleeve and start munching happily. Like, not bad. A bit fishy, but tasty. The Hey, I've seen you, like, put the weirdest shit on a sandwich. I don't think Shaggy gives a shit what it tastes like. I don't think he cares at all. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Heading towards your room, you hear Daphne. <laughs> Sushi. Oh, it's me. Uh, sorry, I was looking away. Freddy. Did you think it was Demona again? <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't even looking. Come on, baby. Just lean forward and let me do the rest. Realizing the door is half open, you take a peek inside and what you see. Look at Fred. Look at Fred. He's Look at Fred. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, God. No, they're gonna get me. The dance of Italy. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the dance of Italy. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. I think this is illegal in at least 48 states. <laughs> Has no one noticed Shaggy like he's the door is cracked but he's at, just peeking in the like his head is fully in the room. How have you not noticed him? <laughs> I wanted to cuz look at Fred's face. That's why. Fred's too concerned with his own shit right now. <laughs> oh my eye! I can't you know, believe you're, making, those you're making this seem a lot more than it actually is. Like it kind of is but it's not that <laughs> 
Okay. Not yet. <laughs> Again, it's not. Stop with that high pitch squeal. You're like a pig. Oink, oink, <laughs> oink, oink. <sighs> I don't want to be cooked in the bacon. I don't want to be bacon sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I have such a high pitched voice. It's just my name. Okay, this is this is just a this is now a PSA. <laughs> Guys, if you're watching this and you are Fred, <laughs> don't be Fred. <laughs> hey, it's Fred! <laughs> Don't if do this. If your name is Fred, do not do this. Be kind, respectful. So, but guys, do not be this. Do not be sushi, okay? No one be sushi. <laughs> <laughs> do not do a. Do not beg to fuck yourself and then do a high pitch <laughs> squeal. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> come on, sushi. You gotta go fuck yourself. <laughs> Oh, on his face again. Fred, you need to get checked out, buddy. That doesn't look right. Like it looks, looks like it's covered in, like, candy. <laughs> he candy coated it like an apple. <laughs> it burned the rest of his skin. Yeah, just look at this. Just look at this and take it in. Hey, this is a prototype game. I think it's, like, pretty... No, uh... it's just Fred. I, I don't like Fred. Fred like... is a <laughs> douche. A really, really big douche. With a candy tip penis. With a candy tip penis. You know, I bet you it's a prosthetic. It's not even real. Yeah, it's probably one of those dick extenders. <laughs> <laughs> that he colored himself. <laughs> just a little bit of paint. It's not even an actual reflection of light. It's just a little white piece he didn't have enough color for. You know what it looks like? It looks like, like you know how nail polish reflects really easily? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what... he, used nail... he used nail polish. All right. <laughs> Back to it. Why is he just just standing he's there? specifically just watching every last bit of this. Like, he's just like, uh, what the hell is happening? <laughs> can we beat up Fred? I want to. <laughs> my ears. Like, you're actually hurting my ears. Stop. It's, it's worse than the lightning. <laughs> you know, this is so unrealistic to the canon. We all know Fred only loves traps. <laughs> we know this is only 300% of my power. Finally, after Thank 20 God. minutes. God. After 20 minutes. Shaggy's over there. Like, Shaggy. Yikes. <laughs> uh, you could say that. <laughs> What's the matter? Something wrong with the room? Uh, 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 uh <laughs> well, the thing is, before you can react to Warner, she pushes the door wide open and what she sees. See? I don't think, oh. I don't think you hey, cleaned guys. up the fast. <laughs> I don't, uh, everything okay here? Yeah, why, why wouldn't it be? It seems they were fast enough not to get caught, but just barely. I'm pretty Even sure they were caught. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, there's one, <laughs> one person who didn't see it out of the, or one person and a dog who didn't see it, so I'm pretty sure. Oh, jeez, what smells? It's gotta be this. Ah, shaggy! It's, it's Scoob doing okay? Is Scoob doing okay? That's a problem with the dialogue in game. Still feeling too shocked to process what just happened? Your mouth just kind of opens and you go into auto mode. Well, well I, I, I don't know. He seemed pretty shaken up, I guess. <laughs> ah, he'll be fine, Shaq. He just needs to grow a pair. I will Breathe hit you intensely. I will fucking... Fred, I'm going to go downstairs, find a frying pan, and you'll be known as Frying Fred Freddy because they can't get it dislodged from your face after I bashed you with it. Ch Chaggy, that's the gun. Yes. Anyway. Right, Daphne? She doesn't answer. Fred is your friend, of course, but recently you have started to realize he can be kind of a jerk sometimes. <laughs> well, as long as Daphne covers for him, I shouldn't say anything, I guess. Like, let's go to bed, gang. We can try to figure out how to repair the mystery machine in the morning. Daphne? Yes. Good night, guys. That's kind of orgasmic. What the fuck? <laughs> Night, Fred. I don't think she was as into it, <laughs> that into it. I'm gonna be real, guys. Fred winks at her. She goes even redder. Like, good, good night. Before we end the video, I'd just like to give a huge shout out and personal thank you to some of my patrons. Again, huge shout out and thank you to Dead Man, Thick Boy Hobo, Omero Aguilar. If I pronounced that wrong, I'm sorry. Please let me know. I had to look it up. I hope I hope I pronounced that right. If I, again, if I didn't, please let me know. Thank you, Jerry Sparks, Henry Kulhoff, Jaunty Joe Star, Spaghetti O Dick, Roy, Matt Eason, Randy Adair. 
Joe Grizzly 19 and Sifios. Thank you guys so much for your support. You have no idea how much it means to me. Anyway, I think Kari has a few words she'd like to say. What's up guys? Kari here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, check out our previous video here. Or if you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon here. There's also a video that was picked up by YouTube just for you. And lastly, you can click here to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Peace off!